What's up guys, welcome to Overtime, episode two. We got a great show for you guys today. Same set, same guys, same fake mics. It's gonna be a good day. Tall guy, beard, twins, purple hoser. Dude, perfect in overtime. Tall guy, beard, twins, purple hoser. Now we're heading on to overtime. <laughs> That is a good song, and this is gonna be a good episode. I'm particularly excited about it because we've got two brand new segments for you guys, but I say we jump right in with everybody's favorite, Cool Not Cool. Oh yeah. All right, so as you guys may remember, Gare uh, absolutely blew us out of the water last time with the pancake bot. Nice. I feel like he has earned the right to go first. Gare, tell us what you got. What if I told you that I bought each of you guys one acre of land? Oh, Corey! I, wow. Absolutely! It's an acre of land! No, location, location, location. I'm not sold yet. Well... We're going to the moon, baby! On the moon? We each own, collectively, five acres. Wait, there's more! Did you buy it from Buzz Lightyear? I bought you all a hundred acres on the sun. Oh. Where's the space oh land coming God. from? Hey, hey. We haven't figured out how to colonize the sun yet, I know but I the moon. Know. All right, I'm in. You know what? No way. Todd? I feel like it's kind of the biggest scam job in the world, selling space land to people. Yeah, I got to say, the, the website was a little sketchy. Okay, I'm going. There it is. Red kind of like the color of the sun. You got Elon Musk out there that's just going to help us just colonize all these planets. I don't think so. he's pushing for the sun. Well, you know, after I buy him 100 acres, you never know. Not a bad item. Let's mix it up a little bit. Codes, how about you How about you go next? All right. You guys didn't cool my thing last time. We didn't cool his cool thing. thing. You did it. You, you, you didn't give the violin a chance. So you mean we not cooled your thing? Correct. Okay. Okay, right here I have a real life pocket cannon. Oh, <laughs> my God. Prepare to be amazed. Is that a post-it note funnel? That's real gunpowder. Oh, my God. I'm not sitting here for this. I think more gunpowder, the better. Do you have like something we can shoot at, Core? A water bottle. Oh, that's going to splash zone you. Here we go. I see sparks. We're good. Fire the cannon in three, two. Oh, it lit! Did you see that? Oh, Our table's yeah. burning! <laughs> no! Oh, no! No! Sorry! No! Sorry! No! no. no. <laughs> this is not good! <laughs> that was <laughs> Not cooling your thing! That was garbage! And I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a virtual button to hit at home. <laughs> they're all they're all mashing. Okay, would anyone like to go next? Yes. Okay, Kobe would like to go all right. next. Alright guys, I'm pretty excited about this. Oh my gosh! Look guys, it's a snuggle pillow! Okay, let me paint the picture for you. So let's say you're on an airplane and you're sitting in the dreaded middle seat. If you pull that out on an airplane, I'm getting off Stop the plane. Talking. <laughs> Stop talking now. Vote, vote, Corey, go. Yeah, go. See ya! Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I forgot to hit the green button. It's okay. amazing. Anyways, Corey, you're up. Put this pillow away. It's, it's, we're losing viewers fast. Nothing more boring than just handing somebody a greeting card. Let me show you guys a way to spice it up. Cody, here you go, my friend. Oh, wow! Oh, a wounded butterfly! That's exciting! If you did that to me in real life, not in a stage setting, I might have just punched you in the face because I was scared for my life. I think the concept is great, and that's why I will give you a green. Let's lose the butterfly, okay? Let's make it something else. Corey, you seem a little lonely over there if you want to <laughs> just hang on to that. This is better than the last yeah. one. Ty, redeem this segment to the viewers. Ladies and gentlemen, may I reveal to you Chocolate grenade! Oh, my mom always said if you're gonna bring some food, yes. bring it up! Yes. Oh, 100% milk chocolate! 100%! Nice! Yeah. Here, pull that pan! Oh, what a bite! Cool! This is only dangerous because it's delicious. Oh, very oh, nice. nice. Very good. Thanks. This is absolutely incredible and something that you can take to the moon, you know what I mean? Nice, nice. nice. Boom! We need to clean off the desk, though, because we got a brand new segment for you coming up, Absurd Recurs. Oh, this is going to be a treat. Welcome to Absurd Recurs, where we attempt to break crazy world records and fill up the wall downstairs, because to be honest, we've got a few blank spots. Yes, we know Absurd Recurs is spelled wrong. Gareth, tell them why. It rhymes. <laughs> Really, no other reason other than that. It just sounds better. So we've got our good buddy, Michael, from Guinness World Records that you may have seen in a couple of our other videos downstairs, and we're going to head that way and see what he's got in store for us. Let's do it. All right. 
Michael. Good to see you again. Nice to see you, Tyler. Thank you for joining us. So, uh, as many of you know, one of the worst things in the world would be stepping on a Lego barefooted. Michael, would you like to tell them what we're going to be doing today? Tyler, today you are attempting the furthest distance walking on Legos barefoot. Oh, God! Oh, wow. The mark to beat is 25 meters, which is 82 feet. <laughs> Sounds like a long way. Let's walk on some Legos. This is it. This is the moment that we've been waiting He's for. trained his whole life for this moment. All the other records are hogwash compared yep. to this. It's mm. just going to be horrible. This might be the worst five minutes of your life. Let me see your view here, T. It's a long view. Go ahead and take a look. Hard to see the other end, honestly. Three. Starting in three, two, one. Go, let's go. Ooh. Just got to fight through it. Come on, T. Oh, God. Ow, it's for the wall. Deal. It's for the wall! Oh, that one was a good one. Oh, that had to be a saw blade. You got this, Ty. Let's go, baby. Go, go by the record wall. Let it go. Halfway there, Ty. Halfway. Four. You got this. Oh, that looked that horrible. Was so bad. Oh, that was like triple back to back. It's a lot come worse on, right on. here. See the finish line. It is hard to walk. Come on, Ty. Come on. Come on, Ty. Come on. Oh, his feet have got to be bleeding. Come on, Ty. Finish it. Come on. Tyler, you can step off. The mark to beat was 82 feet. That tape measurement is 146.94 feet. Yay! It's a new Guinness go! World Records title. Congratulations. Thank you, Michael. Oh, my God. Michael, as always, thanks for joining us. Congratulations. We'll see you next time on Absurd Records. Woo! Feet feel bad. Records feel good. You gotta be honest, I caught one right on the heel. You had one little section where you were stumbling a little bit. I would put that excitement on hold because this is bound to be someone's least favorite segment. It's time for Real Unfortunate. Is my name in there still? No, you're definitely still in oh, here. I can go back to back. Gare, I have some news. It's good news because I saw a CEO through the paper. Oh, no! <laughs> okay. No. Could this be back-to-back -back wheel spin? That's for what Cody I'm hoping Jones? for. Could it yes. be the first wheel spin for one of the twins? That's not what I'm hoping for. It is time we find out in three, two. Sweating. Corey! No! Yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh, and what a sense of relief. Oh, I love Wheel Unfortunate. Oh, me too. It's my favorite segment. <laughs> you could fly to Wisconsin today for no oh, reason. Oh, he could. I got to say, it's way more fun when it's not your name. All right, Corey, it's time to head to the wheel. I just get to enjoy and watch it. This is amazing. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the greatest game show on earth. I'm sure you know who I am, but just in case you've been living under a rock, I'm Ned Forrester, the golden boy. Oh, that was on me. That was on you. Just put it by hand. Just give it to me. The Golden Boy. Anyways, we've got a special guest joining us today. I believe his name is Corey Cotton. Corey, come on down. All right, Corey, uh, how, how's it going today? How are you feeling? It's not good to be here. This is not where you want to be. You know, don't be bringing any of that trash in here. I might have to hit you in the head with an iron. <laughs> All right. Why do you have an iron? Corey, I'm sure you know you're going to be spinning the wheel behind us here. Uh, real quick, if you hold my microphone. To... Ned Forrester, right back at ya. Spray tan level 10 is off the board. Jody Codes went ahead and took care of that for us. <laughs> Herbie was tanned for three weeks. That's unfortunate. <laughs> but that's why we play the game, and Corey, I think we've got one for you to spin, big boy. Spin that wheel! Oh, there's a, there's a spin with some authority. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Good spins coming around. Anything but a cat. All right, wheels coming to a stop. Looks like you're going to be safe from owning a cat, but you are going to have to drive through the car wash in the bed of a truck. Corey Cut, congratulations. Well, as we say around here, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Corey, why don't you uh, group up with the boys and head out, out to the car wash? <laughs> thanks, thanks, Ned. All right. Oh, dude, we made it. This is gonna be a good one, boys. Well, unfortunately, Corey, we forgot that we all had bed covers, so uh, I think right up here in this region is gonna do you good. <laughs> the windshield? Yeah. <laughs> Get up go, there! Go, Get up go. there! Oh, 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 oh,
Ladies and gentlemen, that does it for the worms. All right, Cor, well, have you warmed up yet? Dude, I'm trying. Thanks again, guys. That was just, man, that was an honor. What a treat to be on the greatest game show of all time. I'm, I'm not entirely sure why we keep calling it that. As Gare called it that. Uh, it's his You words. are welcome. I will be honest, I did get a little bit worried when the main bar came down on the front. I totally thought it was going to grab you and then just sweep you up into the machine and just <laughs> crush you on top. would have been... Unfortunate. <laughs> that would have been unfortunate. All right, well, before we head into the next segment, we always get some awesome fan mail from you guys here at DPHQ2, and I say it's time that we take a look at it. We've asked our editors to come up with a creative way to deliver our mail to us each time. Let's see what they've come up with. All right! Wow! <laughs> is the mail in the balloon? The mail is in the balloon. Oh my wow. gosh! I don't even want to know how long that took. Don. Unique and unexpected are the <laughs> like words it. that come to mind. All right, boys. Well, cool. it's mail time. Oh! Wow! wow. That, was, that awesome. was great! Okay, so let's take a look at what we got. Oh, wow! <laughs> Dude, it's <laughs> mail! Sideline reporter and Will Unfortunate host. Nice. This is drawn by Clara herself. Let's nice. give it up for Clara. Nice. Absolutely. Wow. Well done. Look at this amazing oh drawing from gosh. Sadie of Ty. Man, look at this the Christmas neck. stereotypes. That's I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Candace. Dude, that's <laughs> oh, yeah. Kobe the King. Kobe. <laughs> King Kobe. Thank you. Wow. King, King, King Kobe. Kobe. Wow. I would like to nominate that for Mail of the Week. Here, here. Here, here. Very impressed with the fan yes, mail. Well you. done. Thank you. We'll Thank put an you. address down below if you guys want to send us some more stuff. Great job. I think it's time now to head to the final segment of this show. And that is Sing Song. Oh, we're singing. Sing Song. Coach, you weren't really with us. Sorry there, there buddy. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're the Cheese Weasels, and it is so good to be here tonight. We've got a song for you tonight inspired by our very own Kobe Cotton, Kobe. who in a recent video launched a rocket completely sideways. It goes a little something like this. Kobe launched a rocket a couple videos ago. And as predicted by Garrett, his year has started pretty slow. Took a turn for the worst, headed straight for the pasture. Similar to his other battles. Good news, it did not kill a cow! What a disaster. But we got some good news We didn't kill a cat I'm going to. Bring it back in one, two, three. We got some good news. We didn't kill a cow. We got some good news. We didn't kill a cow. We are the king. Everybody, thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Stay a weasel. Uh, I meant be a weasel. That's our tagline, so use it. <laughs> See ya. What in the world? Okay, I'm not going to say it's the most well-written song of all time, but it's certainly a little catchy. It's stuck in my head. Not bad. Just want to say thanks to you guys. We just hit 27 million oh. subscribers. Wow. Big thanks. Thank and for that... I say it's time for a giveaway. Right, yeah. So, if you're a Dude Perfect subscriber and you share this video, we will be sending five, five oh. lucky winners, wow. DP Icy White, and a hat. Oh, it's good combo. It's good stuff. 
Next week, we've got March Madness stereotypes coming out. Click down here to subscribe so you don't miss out. Also, if you want to see the last video, click right here. And if you want some awesome DP merch, click right here. Signing off for now, DP Overtime, where the show is real, but the mics are fake. Oh, nice. <laughs> they, don't, they don't do anything. All right, quiet talk. Yeah.